In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Drive for desktop. Now, you can use this to automatically sync files from your computer to Google Drive. And if you use this web app after watching this tutorial, you'll get a folder called Google Drive, which you can go ahead and drag and drop files into, and it will automatically update in your Google Drive. So what you want to do is you want to go to Google and just search for Google Drive Desktop. It's probably the easiest way to get there. Click on the first one and it will take you here and you can safely store your files and access them from any device. So this is a great app if you are moving files on a regular basis. It does it all automatically. So you want to click download drive for desktop. And once you've got that downloaded here, you want to run the installation wizard. So it's 174 meg. So I'll be back once this has downloaded. So now we've got that downloaded, we can now open the installation file and it should then open. So here we can install Google Drive and it's going to ask you here, do you want to install it and add an application shortcut to your desktop? I'm just going to check that and we'll just keep this one checked as well and then we'll click on install. So now that's successfully installed, we can now go ahead and launch it. Before I launch it though, I'm going to remove all of these other shortcuts which I don't need. So now we can launch this and it should open up the Google Drive app. Okay, so here it's going to welcome us to Google Drive. You can safely store your files, open them with all applications back up your files and automatically keep all of your files up to date. So go ahead and click on get started and then you need to sign into a Google account for this to work. So click sign in. It's then going to redirect you to your web browser where you can then sign into your account. So I'm just going to sign into this account here and we can click sign in. Now once you've signed in, you can go ahead and go back to Google Drive and it's going to set everything up. Now what's going to happen is you're going to get a Google Drive folder so welcome to Google Drive, safely store your files in Drive and open with applications on your computer. Choose folders to sync from your computer to Drive. So you can choose to sync existing folders to Google Drive. I don't want to sync all of my computer though to Google Drive. So I'm going to add a folder and I'll just create a new folder in my documents called Google Drive. This way, everything I put in this folder will then be added to Google Drive. So I find that is the best way unless you want your whole computer to be backed up to Google Drive, which takes a lot of data and I don't recommend. So I'm going to create a folder here called Google Drive, which we can select. And now you can see you've got that selected. We can then click next and got it. I'm not going to sync any pictures or videos, but again, you can do if you want. We're just going to skip this part. And the folder we've selected is now going to sync with Google Drive. So we can click next. Okay, so now we've got that folder created. We can now click next. Right click on the file or the folder, choose available offline. So I'm going to just click open drive and it's then going to open up Google Drive here and it's going to sync some files. So now if you go ahead and go to your folder, so we've got the Google Drive folder here, we can now start to add files and folders to this. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder. We'll go new folder and I'll just call this test. And inside this folder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just copy a video and I'll just put a video in here and I'll show you how this works. So we'll copy this video. We'll then go ahead and paste this video in the Google Drive test folder. So now this video is pasted in and any file that you add or remove should update in your own Google Drive. So now if you go ahead and go back to Google Drive, you need to go to your main drive page. So go to Google Drive, go to Drive. You should then see a new folder appear. So here I am on my Google Drive. If I go to computers, and then my laptop, you can see I've got the Google Drive folder. And if I click on it inside that, I've got the test folder. And inside that, I've got the video file. Now, this is going to sync both ways. So I can then edit any of these files. I can also add a file in Google Drive. Or if I wanted to delete this file, I could do it both on Google Drive or I could do it internally on my computer. So it syncs both ways. So I'm going to delete this file. And now this file should be deleted from the computer. So if I click refresh you can see items removed. So it's a two way kind of like system. You can add and delete on both your computer and Google Drive. So anything that you put into this Google Drive folder will now show on Google Drive. That's how you can use it. I hope that video was helpful. If you are sending a load of files, you'll get the Google Drive pop up here and you'll see how long it's gonna take. So here it is. And you can see your kind of like activity here. Everything's up to date for me. I hope that video was helpful. Let me know in the comment section below if it was. Leave a like and I'll see you in the next one.